Cairns and St Caddox are just a very short distance away from each other. Many of the children who attend St Caddox have actually previously attended Cairns Nursery, so we have really good links with the boys and girls there. Both schools have been working in the Old Firm Alliance for the last four years. It was brought to us by some pupils in the school who had been experiencing some problems in the community and it was related to sectarian behaviour. Celtic Rangers are clubs where any race, religion, sex, sect can get involved in both these clubs. The Old Firm Alliance project was set up by Celtic and Rangers to come into various schools and teach them things about football, about diet and nutrition, about social aspects, about hobbies and lifestyle and things like that. But at the same time, to help sort of break down sectarian and social barriers. Especially in the west of Scotland, we just assume that someone is someone because they wear a colour. So if you see someone with a Rangers top on or a, a Celtic top on or a Partick Thistle top or a blue or a green or a yellow, they assume that one either is a Protestant or one is a Catholic and it couldn't be further from the truth. It's really important to tackle sectarianism early on. When I actually raised even the word sectarianism with the children, they were unaware of what sectarianism actually is, although they hear it in the media and the newspaper. But the positive thing in tackling it now is that they are aware of it. It's not an issue for them at the moment, but they're building up positive experiences so that if it ever did become an issue, they can think back to the positive experiences they have had working alongside children from a neighbouring school. Over the past few weeks we've been playing football at Cairns and, and with John James, which are the coaches from Celtic and Rangers Park. Well, John is the Rangers coach and Jamie is the Celtic and they got on really well with each other and both of them taught us a lot. Well, the coaches have been fantastic and I think that the message given, especially from Rangers and Celtic with the coaches coming and working so closely together, having a good fun with the children, interacting with them, you know, with both schools and encouraging both schools to come together and mix and do all the, the activities they're supposed to do in mixed groups, it really is an ideal base for the development work that goes on across the year. The relationship between myself and actually the coach Rangers is very good. We've known each other for a number of years and hopefully the kids can pick up on that. They can see that we, we do talk to each other, we are friends. It's not a case of it as if we walk in here, we go on, we walk out of there, we don't talk to each other. Underneath that shirt, we, we bleed the same, we eat the same, we go to schools, whether it be different ones, we all go to the schools to get educated, we go to our own churches, we've all got our own beliefs, but deep down, we're all the same people, we're all human. A really key message that came out um, from one of our discussions were that um, Rangers and Celtic were rival teams, they weren't enemies, so they didn't understand why people fought, but they had seen on the news fighting in the old firm, they know that violence comes out of it. There are a lot of children in the class that were really into football um, and they saw it as quite an exciting opportunity and challenge to get to play with the other school. We had a tournament and we were, the teams were um, mixed up from Cairns and St Caddox. Initially I think they were wanting to stay, as children do, with what they know and what they're familiar with, so they wanted to play with their own school. But within 15-20 minutes in the first workshop, the children were all mingling. It was lovely to see them actually. Before this happened, I was a wee bit nervous because it's a different school and you might not know how to judge the you, but that's all like what we're doing right now. Don't judge people the way they look or what colours they wear or football strips they wear or what religion they are. We've been really looking at prejudice and not just because of anti-sectarianism but um, to teach children that uh, everybody is different and um, we're not saying that let's throw you all in the one hall and you all have to get along with each other. Not everybody's going to get along but to recognise the differences that you have between somebody um, and to try and work around your differences and get on with one another. So the children now have got a better understanding of just because you've got a Celtic strip on doesn't mean that you only like Celtic. Um, and just because you've got a Rangers strip on doesn't believe, mean you believe a certain way of life or follow a certain religion. I've met people like from St Caddles and we're best friends now and we didn't even talk to each other before we started playing football. So it's really good to go and introduce yourself to someone. Uh, some of the kind of pupils live close by and maybe we'll play some football together in the future. This um, alliance won't stop just with the football coaching. The children are keen, they're keen to come over to Cairns Primary every week, but now we're looking forward to taking that forward to inviting Cairns to come over to our school and work with, in our classrooms and to take forward assemblies and joint carol singing within the community so that we continue to build on what has started with the Old Firm Alliance and take it forward throughout the rest of the school year. And we're hoping that it builds on relationships for the children to use now and when they leave school. 
I've always known St Caddox for years, but I've never really got together with them that much. And it's been a great opportunity just to like say hello and meet new friends. Yeah!